Hello again, this is Marco with Global Specialties. In part one, I showed you how to draw a circuit using the Quartus 2 software, and we drew a two input AND gate. Now I want to show you how easy it is to upload that circuit onto an FPGA chip using the DL030. So let's get back to our circuit. Now the next thing I want to do is I need to do my pin mapping. These pins here, I need to map them so that they match the actual pins on the FPGA. So you need to look in your manual at the back where you will find the pin mapping chart. I'll go up here to pin planner. So push button zero is on the FPGA as B10. So in here on my pin 1, I will call this B10, and you notice that once you type in B10, it puts pin in there for you. Hit enter, and now I want my second pin to be connected to my push button number 1, and that is A11 on the FPGA. A11, 11, I hit 1-1. One, one. And then I want my output to be connected to my LED, LED 0. So that is C9. Enter. And now I can go back to my circuit and I will see that the pin has been mapped. The pin name here is pin as associated with B10. And I can move this to if I like, if it feels better there, okay. Now I'm ready to finish my compilation and I will just hit the full compilation button, start compilation. And it has been modified anytime I make changes, I need to resave that, so I'll hit yes. And the compilation will begin. You can watch the progress of your compilation down here below and the compilation was successful. There are 11 warnings and as I said usually you can ignore the warnings so I'll just hit OK. And now the compilation has now turned my diagram here, my drawing, into computer code ready to go onto the FPGA but it's not on the FPGA yet. It has just been compiled into computer language now I want to upload that file onto the FPGA. I'm going to actually program or reconfigure the hardware of the FPGA. So I need to go to the programmer right here, this button programmer, and I'll click that. And I should have Aero USB Blaster already since you did your setup with the Quartus software. It should be on there OK. I'll hit start. Let me open this up a little bit, and it's successful. We should now have successfully uploaded our circuit onto the FPGA. We can verify this by looking at the DL030. Remember that I mapped the input pins to push button 0 and 1, and the output pin is mapped to LED 0. So because this is an AND gate, if I push just one input, I will get no light. If I try the other input, also no light. But when I push both buttons together, my LED should turn on. So how did your attempt work out? Perfect? Excellent. You just custom designed your own FPGA chip. But if it didn't go so perfect, or you still have questions, don't hesitate to contact us. Find us on the web at globalspecialties.com.